morning today is the 25th of November and yes and today we are not cycling so much kilometers today we don't think so no just going out towards the coast today I think it's about 30 35 kilometers so yeah not too far today also we've got some practical things to do with the new country we have to find a sim card and all this kind of thing so yeah so uh, yeah we'll uh, have a little ride now or a little ride around the town here have a look what we can see here and then we'll head off to the coast yes. so okay that's the plan today yeah. okay so new country new sim card yet again now amassing quite a collection of sim cards um, this is from AIS supposed to be one of the main providers here in Thailand so uh, costs uh, yeah, about 15 euros for 30 days of internet so that's good well, that's done now we uh, get on with the biking. The old part of this town here. Just making our way to the church here. See if we can find that before we leave. Catholic church here in Chantaburi. This is the largest Catholic church in Thailand. There's not many people in Thailand that are Christian, only 0.7%. Uh, this church was actually built by the Vietnamese. They fled Vietnam in three different waves. Uh, first was 200 years ago. Then they fled uh, the French. Uh, colonial times in Vietnam. The uh, final time the Vietnamese fled, that was 1975 when the um, Vietnamese communists took control of the country. Allow me to show you something. <laughs> Okay, you may have noticed recycling on the left here in Thailand. I'm thinking, uh, what is the reason for that? Because uh, Thailand has never been a, a colony of any country in Europe or France. Thailand has actually always uh, driven on the left, just as uh, most of the world did until 1750. Nearly all countries in the world drove on the left. That was to uh, keep the right hand free for fighting the enemy with a sword if you needed to do that. But uh, also in Thailand, the uh, first ever car that came to Thailand was actually a present of the Queen of England. And that's also one of the reasons why they drive on the left. And also the first cars that ever came to Thailand, they uh, were actually um, bought by rich people that uh, bought them from England. It's actually uh, Napoleon from France. He was the one that insisted on the uh, French people started driving on the right and forcing them to do that. But before then, even the French drove on the left. Road in 300 meters, we are back on the coast. heaven because it's very nice to see the sea again because it was seven months ago last time we was seeing the sea and that was last time was with Greece where we crossed into Turkey that was last time where we have seen the sea of course we saw the sea in India but it wasn't cycling and from here then we'll be following the coast again like what we did in the beginning that's what we'll be doing now for the next uh, few weeks anyway following the sea here on yeah. the coast of thailand so yeah we made it back to the coast that's many many months we've been in land cycling so oh that's yeah. nice
forgot about coast roads is they can also be very healing. questions this morning, two from Steen. Hi Steen, in Denmark. He was asking uh, how many kilometers have we done so far. Uh, yeah, I haven't really been keeping track but I've just checked and we're just about 20 kilometers short of 8,000. So that's 8,000 kilometers cycled, even though we didn't cycle in uh, Iran and India and Turkmenistan. We were close to cycling 8,000 anyway. And Steen was also asking how many tires have we worn out and actually we haven't worn any tyres yet, but we did change them in uh, Iran, we changed, uh, we had some lighter tyres that were used through uh, the Balkans and Turkey and then we changed them to some uh, stronger tyres in Iran. And we still have the stronger tyres on now luckily because we also needed them in Cambodia, even though here we may not uh, need them anymore, looks like the roads are quite smooth here. We also have a question from Alison, she was saying do we have any space in our passports <laughs> anymore? Yeah, good question because they're getting uh, they're getting pretty full up with stamps from yeah many countries now. I think I think I think we have a few. I think we have, oh, we have a few spare pages at the at the back here. <laughs> so we have a few countries to go yet. If we need to do that, then uh, SIM cards. Also getting quite a collection of SIM cards <laughs> from. Different, we have given them some away as well, if we met some other travellers on the way, we've given them the SIM cards, but uh, yeah, also quite a collection of SIM cards now. Now you can see the SIM cards here, and now I have a quiz, Daddy. Okay. Which one is the correct one to which country? No, oh, okay, good quiz. <laughs> yes, now we start. Okay. The blue one here, which country is that day? Iran. Iran. And where? what is Megacom? Kyrgyzstan. That's the cheapest SIM card we ever bought. 2.5 2 euros or 40 gigabytes of data. Yeah, very <laughs> it took cheap. Three minutes to get it. And which one was Airtel? Airtel India. That was the most difficult SIM card to ever get. Yeah, this was the most difficult SIM card we never have get. That was 4G here. Uh, that was in India. So yeah, we have also been in India. Mm -hmm. Strange to think. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So that is the quiz for today. See you next time in Jamie's quiz. <laughs>
test the water in Thailand. Is it warm or cold? <laughs> oh, it's like a, it's like to be in the shower. <laughs> yeah, not so good for me. But it's not that deep here. Oh, the water is clean here. Much cleaner than India. No waves here like in uh, Palolem. Yeah. Oh. Should we try it? What? Should we try? Yes. Okay, let's go for it. Oh, okay. <laughs> Even though we haven't biked so far today, only 30 kilometers. Yeah. This is what you need after uh, um, after a cycling day. Yeah, we couldn't do this in Croatia, it was too cold, but now it's okay. We haven't cycled too far today, only about 35 kilometers, but we had to pick a SIM card up first and uh, yeah, do some, take it easy really. But yeah, now we're on the coast. I think tomorrow we're going to have a day resting here, I think. And then uh, yeah, then we'll set off cycling along the coast. But I'm uh, not sure where we're going exactly yet, but we'll be uh, heading along the coast. So that was it for today. Bye. See you maybe tomorrow or the day after. <laughs> See you in the English telephone box. Now everybody from England now I want to say hello on telephone to you so I will go to this telephone sh telephone machine to wink to all of people that are seeing our videos in England. Hello, Manny and Paul, hello Brendan and Susie, how's it going? Okay everyone, bye bye! with the sound quality. <laughs> I think he's too happy about <laughs> in his garden. How's it going, doggy? <laughs>